Well, well, good morning, good morning, bonjour tout le monde. It's like 11.30 here, I'm going to run out. Got a little bit of a late start today because I had to finally pick up my package that I mailed my, to myself from the US before I left. That's kind of some of the stuff there. It's a lot of my photography um, school supplies that I felt like I could buy cheaper in the US, which actually after being here, I'm glad I did. So I had to run to the post office and get that because I have been waiting for this box. It took 14 days to get to me from the US. It They kept sending me like updates saying that I wasn't home and like one day I like sat out here and just sat on the balcony and just stalked every single post office box I mean like van I seen because they're yellow I watched everyone pass then I saw the mail lady come in I ran downstairs and I was like um do you have my package and like I had the shipping label and everything she's like no I went to one post office he's like no I went to the other post office and the um younger guy was really nice I find that the younger people here speak English so if you're trying to get someone to speak English to you and you look at a place where you're trying to work, um, look for someone who's a little bit younger, like in their, I'll say 30 and below, because they'll definitely be at least willing to try and help you in English. Um, and so the one guy was really nice yesterday. He told me to come back tomorrow. He did something in the system with my customs tracking number. So not the, if you're sending something USPS from the state, the USPS tracking number is worthless, but the customs number that they give you on the customs label, that's how they were able to track my box. And he was able to route it to the post office near me and I just walked down there. I'm like still sweating because I just like ran back here. But I am on my way now to a museum. So let's head out. So this is the outfit of the day. Sneaks. My purse and my jacket. I'm about to head out. Okay, so I'm sitting here walking past this great artwork. Um, just walked past that really, really cute used book flea market. One thing I'm noticing is that on the weekends, flea markets are like all the rage here. So, although I'm headed to the garden, I think tomorrow I'm gonna go to a flea market, see what I can see. So gorgeous. Oh my gosh, there's a fountain down there. Look at this great garden, and then that's your view. Let's see what we can find. dustiest sneakers ever went to this used book market and got a comic book called cleopatra honestly it's all in french but i think it'll be a good way to learn some french and get some new inspiration made it back home and you can hear um the paris is so chill i don't i don't really know what i thought it was going to be i'm not really sure what i expected but this isn't quite it um it is like the city it's so pretty today's a saturday 
there are no tourists. Uh, people have nowhere to be. People are going at a very slow pace. I did stop somewhere to get something to eat after my museum visit. It was about two o'clock. It was closed. It's like 3.30 now. So I'm going to try and run down and wash clothes because I need to wash some clothes. I won't pass the laundromat. I have no idea what is about to unfold there, but I did buy laundry detergent already. So I'm going to try and wash clothes at the laundromat. Um, but honestly, everything has just been so chill. Everybody's really relaxed and laid back. They have nowhere to really be, which is really interesting because you think of Paris and I don't know, I just, I guess I didn't really think of that aspect of it. You can tell the quality of life is just better here, um, which is going to take a little bit of adjusting, like just to slow down. But anyway, guys, that's all I have for today. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for going to the museum, visit with me, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.